What's going on guys? Today is the day before the big iron butt ride. Now in case you guys didn't know about the iron butt challenge, it's a thousand miles in 24 hours. Now, if you look behind me, you're gonna see quite a bit of water, but don't worry, tomorrow's supposed to be nice, thank God. I don't even know why you're doing this. two days off. Today is day number one. Tomorrow we ride, so it, I gotta get it done tomorrow, and then I go back to work on Friday. Ready, steady, go. I'm doing it on a 2013 Softail Deluxe. I'm sure some of you have seen the other videos, so you know about it. I've already raised the suspension in the rear, just so that I'm not like this the whole way, because that would just be stupid. And then um, I might put like a pad under my butt because the seat is super hard. It's, it's like a piece of plywood with, you know, like a comforter on top. And that's kind of what it is. <laughs> oh man, open face. All right, we're at the first stop which is right at the very beginning. First mobile station, about to hit the road, crossing over the Hudson River through the Bear Mountain Bridge, and then off to 17, should be on that for a while, probably stop in Binghamton. So, a lot of people were asking, why are you doing this to yourself? And I, I really don't know. Um, just, it's a challenge I wanna do. I'm really into bikes, so, and this is a bike thing. So I YouTubed it, and there's a bunch of iron butt challenge videos on there and of course you know me being me i wanted to up everything that i've seen so this is it The next question everybody seems to be asking is, so where are you going? They're actually surprised at what I say because they're thinking I'm gonna say like Florida or like somewhere in Tennessee or whatnot. I live in New York and so I wanted, I wanted to go west. So I started looking at cities in Ohio as a good place, as a destination to do an about face. Akron, okay. Akron actually overshot it. So I'm looking for that like 490, 450, whatever mile mark and Cleveland I ended up settling on because Cleveland is like 490 miles or something. In theory, that would get me back here at like, what, 980 miles or so. And that's perfect because you don't want to overshoot it. If anything, you want to kind of undershoot it a little bit. That way you get back to your hometown, you just pick up a few more miles if you need it and you're done. All right, so I ran into my first problem. About 120 miles, we're in Scranton, Pennsylvania. You know, I did a lot of work to the, this bike myself. I'm just like... So here's the problem. The exhaust is starting to come loose. I managed to get it back in, but it's gonna continue doing it. I don't know if it's the shock or if it's just the pressure of the exhaust going through, it pushes it out. Picture this, I'm a bag of dicks, put me to your lips, I am sick, I will punch your baby beer in his shit, give me lip, I'm gonna send you to the yard, get a stick, make a switch, I can end the conversation real quick, I am crap, I ain't lying, kick a lion in this crack, I'm the shit, I will fall off in your crib, take a shit, hit your mama on the booty, kick your dog, fuck your bitch, that boy dressed up like you sound on I don't know if you remember, everybody was making fun of me in Daytona for my bike leaking gas, well, Ryan's bike is literally making a puddle. <laughs> Dude, that is... Carbureted. Does it stop after a little while? Or? If, if, if he sits on it, stands it up, it doesn't do it. Oh, okay. Ryan, what are you riding? The 2000 Titan. What the fuck is a Titan? 
The Titan Motorcycle Company was an American motorcycle manufacturer that was founded in 1995 in Phoenix, Arizona and was the first custom motorcycle company to produce in volume. They went bankrupt twice, first in 2001, the second one in 2007, and that's when the company failed. All right, Sean, what are you riding? 06 Jixxer. 06 Jixxer, all right. I am riding Ryan's 2014 Fat Bob. So with, with this bike, once you become fatigued, like that's it. There's there's no you, there's no going back. It's it, it's only gonna get worse. Um, the only thing that helps is just getting off the bike for like the night. All right, so we're here at Taco Bell and we had to do the drive-through on bikes, which was really weird, but we got it done. I'm I'm afraid I'm gonna get to like 400 miles. My body is just going to be like, that's enough. Ryan's bike is refusing to start <laughs> at uh, the 420 mile mark. 15 minutes and then I'm bouncing. <laughs> I think it's gonna be that simple, but that's loose as shit. All right, so these guys, uh, they just went across the street to test the battery. The battery's okay, but they're really not believing that. So they're taking off with the old battery and uh, they're gonna go to Harley Davidson, which is actually three miles away, just buy a new battery. So Ryan and Travis got a new battery. <laughs> they're just hooking it up now to see if that's the actual problem. See if it'll even start. And the question is whether or not if it does start, how long will it run based on whether or not the charging system is screwed. Right, we oh! oh! We have an issue. Oh! Maybe that's why that wire was disconnected. Put it in neutral, just hit the starter and see if it does anything. Don't start it. Is it good? Yeah. All right, so we got power. Oh. All right, so we stopped at Sheets, and Ryan's bike is riding good again. Seemed to fix the issue, except it's still leaking gas at about like quarter gallon a minute, maybe. <laughs> so when Ryan's bike took a dump, we lost about an hour and a half, to hour and 45 minutes, right in the middle of the day. Now, it's not his fault. It's the, probably the prior owner's fault of why the wire was like that. It turns out it just needed a new battery and a little bit of electrical tape over one of these exposed wires, which shorted out and must've messed his battery up. Well, we're riding down the breakdown lane like we shouldn't have. Old guy on a, what the hell was it? That was like an ultra classic. It was an ultra classic. An ultra classic, yeah, he friggin' right in front of us. Went to turn right, take a 180 degree turn. To go dump, the wrong way. To go the wrong way, dumped it like rest a- rest area exit, right? Yeah, dumped it like a sack of shit. Just dropped it. Dropped it right on himself, got pinned underneath it. And me, me and the good looking guy over here got off and picked it up before. I kind of feel bad for that horse. We did 600 miles in the street glide and it was easy. It was like, right, it was like, riding your couch. You know, it's not a nice comfy ride. It's it's not. This is this is like a, a Broadway brawler. You know, it's just it's meant to be just be mean and loud, you know, in your face. Not a touring bike.
So it was definitely a bummer about my exhaust. I managed to fix it. The guys had a couple tools and I just got it on enough to get me home. I sort of had to limp it, but it still worked. All right, so I tightened up the exhaust. It should work, we'll see. So it was starting to get really late in the day and I'm like seesawing on whether or not I'm actually gonna be able to finish this thing. Now doing it in 24 hours, I had that on lock, but I didn't have 24 hours. I had work the next day and I really wanted to be home by 10. That way I could kind of just get things ready and then go to bed for work. I had to be up at 4.30. So we're coming out of Scranton and I break off from the, from the guys. They're going up towards Albany and I have to go east towards Westchester. It's like 7.30, 8 o'clock. I still have an hour and a half to get home. Doing the calculations in my head, I'm like, even if I just stop for gas, not a single minute extra, I'll be pulling into my driveway at like 11.30. It hurt to call it off, but I pulled into my driveway at about 10 o'clock and I had 840 miles completed. Now, part of me was kind of like, okay, this is maybe not such a bad thing because that means I get to do it again. I actually had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and I have my brother and my other buddy, Sam, who also are really interested in doing it. They just couldn't come this, this time around. Guys, thank you so much for the support. There's been an influx of people commenting and subscribing to the channel. I cannot thank you enough. I love getting questions. Please, any questions, just jot them down. And as long as they pop up for me on my email, then uh, I will respond ASAP. All right, guys, I will see you soon, all right?